what is archimedes principle real and apparent weight before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and you will get access to our hundred of conceptual videos for free now what is apparent weight and real weight let consider an object let this object is suspended by a spring balance let the reading on the spring balance is 10 kg hence the mass of this heavy object is 10 kg and the weight of this object is 10 kg force for simplicity here in this lecture i will consider kg as the s a unit of weight now let consider a water tub i lower this heavy object into the water tub here when i see the reading on the spring balance it is 6 kg or to be more precise 6 kg force now here let me ask you a question why there is loss in weight when this object is immersed in a held in water tub answer is that water exert force on this object in upward direction due to this upward force the weight of this object is small the weight of this object in air is 10 kg or to be more precise is 10 kg force this weight of 10 kg of this object is known as a real weight while here in the water the weight of this object is lower due to the upward force of the water i mean this weight is reduced to 6 kg as long as this object is held in water the reading on the spring balance will be 6 kg when you take this block out of the water tub the reading on the spring balance will be 10 kg as in this case so the weight of this object in water tub is known as an apparent weight now the loss in weight is equal to real weight minus apparent weight here the loss in weight is equal to 10 kg minus 6 kg so the loss in weight is equal to 4 kg or to be more precise 4 kg force remember that loss in weight is equal to the upward force of the water let me repeat this important statement the loss in weight is equal to the upward force of the water hence here the water exert 4 kg force an upward direction on this block remember that this upward force of water in physics is known as a up thrust or buoyant force now let me give you another case let consider that a light ball is immersed in this beaker filled with water we can see that this object is floating at the top of the water level can you guess the reason i hope you can this ball experiences an upward force of the water or up thrust or buoyant force of the water now how much buoyant force this object experiences the answer is pretty simple find the real weight of this light ball and then find the apparent weight of this light ball and then the up thrust or buoyant force on this light ball will be equal to real weight of the ball minus apparent weight of the ball now how can we calculate the upward force or buoyant force on an object when an object is immersed in water and it displaces some water here comes the archimedes principle it states two important points the first one is that when an object is immersed fully or partially in a fluid it experiences an upward force the second point is that the upward force on this object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it now we have already learned the first point of archimedes principle i mean we have learned that when an object is partially or fully immersed it experiences upward force like in this case of water now what about this word fluid remember that fluid means liquids and gases so this is all about the first point of archimedes principle now what about the second point let consider a heavy golf ball 
let this heavy golf ball is suspended by a spring balance and the air let the weight of this heavy ball in the air is 3 kg or to be more precise 3 kg force now this heavy ball is partially immersed in the water tub as a result the reading decreases on the spring balance due to the upward force of the water or up thrust of water let the reading on the spring balance is 2 kg we know that the weight of the ball in the air is real weight while the weight of the ball partially immersed in the water is apparent to weight now the upward force of water or up thrust of the water on this ball is equal to real weight minus apparent weight hence 3 kg minus 2 kg is equal to 1 kg hence the upward force or up thrust of the water on this golf ball is 1 kg or to be more precise 1 kg force now the another method of finding this upward force is by using archimedes principle let consider that i put this heavy golf ball into the beaker filled with water the golf ball will displace some water from the beaker let the displaced water are collected in this flask now when i put this flask filled with displaced water on the weighing balance the weighing balance will show 1 kg reading so here the upward force on this ball in this beaker is 1 kg or to be more precise is 1 kg force so both in this case the point force or upward force on this ball is 1 kg or 1 kg force while here measure the weight of this place water it is 1 kg hence the upward force on the ball is 1 kg force thus in both case the upward force or buoyant force on this ball is 1 kg therefore archimedes is 100% right that if an object is partially or fully immersed it will experience upward force or buoyant force or up thrust like in this case secondly archimedes states that the magnitude of this upward force or buoyant force is equal to the weight of displaced fluid here the ball displaces 1 kg water hence the upward force on the ball is 1 kg or 1 kg force similarly let i put this radio into the beaker let this radio displaces 2 kg water hence the upward force of water on this radio is 2 kg or 2 kg force now i take tv and i put it into a big beaker filled with water let this tv displaces 10 kg water hence the upward force or up thrust of water on this tv is 10 kg or 10 kg force at last i take my old monitor and put it to a very big beaker filled with water let this monitor displaces 10 kg water hence the up thrust or upward force of water on this monitor is 80 kg or 80 kg force i hope that you have learned the concept of archimedes principle real weight and apparent weight thank you very much for watching this video